Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Masters of the Universe Origin figures, Evil Lynn, and also the Origin version of the 2000X Evil Lynn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over both figures and their accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on them. So, just remember, if you do like this video, hit that thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit that notification bell. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So here we have Evil Lynn's card back. Uh, this is for the one based off of the original figure. Uh, you have your standard red exploding rocks. You have the Masters of the Universe uh, logo. Her name, Evil Lynn, Evil Warrior Goddess. You got that explosion there that says Retro Play on it. All right. You spin this around. Get this beautiful artwork. Once again, I, I say this often. They have such great artwork for these figures. Um, you know, a little bit about her, a little bit about the Masters of the Universe origin line, uh, everybody that's part of that particular wave, uh, her play features, and her legal. Now, she also comes with this mini comic right here. Uh, it, it's a cool book. has really good artwork to it. I really like it. Um, and on the back, you have the lineup of figures that came out in that wave. So, also, um, 20X Evil Inn's card back is pretty much similar. The front looks exactly the same. You know, you have your Masters of the Universe logo. You got your red exploding rocks. But this one is new for 21, where the other one was new for 20. You spin it around. Once again, you get that beautiful artwork. Where you have her with some of the other, you know, evil figures of Skeletor. A uh, quick description of her. Masters of the Universe origin line. Everybody who came out with that wave. Her play features and your legal. But she comes with a different book. She comes with Sucker Punch. Which once again has nice art. You know, throughout. You know, a quick story. And then you have on the back everybody who's part of that lineup. So with all that being done, let's take a look at these figures. So we're going to look at the original style Evil Inn first. Um, this one is designed off of the original figure um, with the original paint job. Uh, she's very true to that figure. Let's give her the rotation. You know, all the colors and skews are all the same. All right, she has a couple points of articulation. So the head's on a ball joint. You have a shoulder joint. You have an elbow joint and a wrist joint. All right, lift them up. Uh, you have a torso joint here right above her belt line. You have a thigh joint. Okay. A knee joint. A swivel at the top of the boot. And then you have an ankle joint. All right, so overall, she's a good looking figure. She's once again, very true to the original, you know, Evil Lynn figure. And of course she comes with her iconic scepter here. All right, now this fits very easily into her hand. You don't have any problems. You don't have to force it. It just slides in nice and tight. All right, and then we also have this one here, which the paint job is designed off of the 2000X Evil Inn. Um, it's the same exact figure. Let's give her the rotation. Except she has a different, you know, paint skew to her. So, you know, overall, it's the same figure, just painted different to look similar to the 2000X figure. All right. And she comes with this scepter. And this obviously just fits in just as easily as the other one. You know, she has all the same points of articulation there. It's the same. It's practically the same. It is the same figure. Um, 
But in my personal opinion, if you had a choice between getting the Origin 2000X Evil In or the original Evil In figure, I would highly recommend getting the original. I think it's a better looking figure than her. Um, you know, uh, me personally, that's just my thought that it's a better looking figure. Um, I do not have that figure, but if I do get a hold of her, I would definitely do a review and maybe even a comparison. So... With all that being said, overall, they're nice figures. Me, in my personal opinion, I would prefer the original looking one opposed to the 2000X because I just think that the original 2000X figure is just a better looking figure than this one, in my personal opinion. So, I hope you did like this review. If you did, go ahead and check out some of my other reviews. I have um, Masters of the Universe Origin Um playlist and i also have just a standard masters of the universe playlist where i put all my 2000x figures and other masters of the universe stuff on there so uh with that being said i hope everybody has a good one and until the next video late thank you for watching this video um if you did like this video do me a favor you know hit the like button subscribe you know share it with friends hit the notification bell so you can see more content and always leave a comment. I'm always happy to hear from you. And check out my Patreon page where I have things that you won't see, you know, on this normal page. So once again, thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Later.